you know that we made videos before the Dry Family channel was made? We were looking for our old man's laptop, looking at all the old videos that we made, and we thought there may be some in there that you may enjoy. So, sit back, relax, and... Don't laugh too hard. Could be a scene from the Blair Witch Project, but it's not. Welcome to another walk of the 50 walks of Shropshire. Here with today we're at the Wye Forest, just the other side of a place called Button Oak. We're doing a five mile walk and it's supposed to be an easy walk. However, it is a bit rough under the foot. But the good thing is it's nice and dry. We're getting out and we're getting fit. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to stop walking? Do you want to stop walking? Huh? Do you want to stop walking? No. No? Well, carry on then. Let's get them. Are we going to find any animals? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe bears. I'm looking for deer. Apparently there's some deer around here, but... Yeah, some deer. You know, big things with horns on the heads. Well, oh, an an antlers like Bambi. Yes, I thought you said beer. Why would beer be in the woods? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where are we going to find beer in the wood? On the trees. Oh, in the glasses. Big juicy apple. That's cider, Kobe. So now my kids think that beer is now found in the woods. Maybe if it was moonshine, but I don't think they do much moonshine over, over here in the UK. So, off we go down this path. We should be coming up to some sort of a water pipe. Not where you can get a drink though, but it's what supplies, I believe, Birmingham. Which is not far from here, so. We're going to carry on down the trail and see what we can find. It's a bit tricky through that area, but uh, it's passable. Right, slow down. Yep, we're going to cross this footbridge. But we have to ask the troll or the fairies first. We're going to ask the troll or the fairies? Yeah. How, are we, how are we going to do that? Ask if we can cross over the footbridge. Did you, did you actually bring anything to give them? Yeah. Yeah, or were there? <laughs> Rude. Chocolate. So you think the troll and the fairies are going to want a Werther's original? Maybe some, maybe some sandwiches. Maybe some sandwiches. So you're going to donate your sandwiches? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Let's see if we're allowed to cross the bridge. Please. Have you asked? Yes, I have. What did they say? If you're going to be very careful. Well, go on then. Okay, thank you. I'll stay here just in case they eat you. They might. Go on then. Weather's being good to us, kids are being good, the birds are singing, everything's great. So Kobe, 
Where are we going then? Down that way. Down that way. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been following this book, and we're now on this particular part of the book. So we now need to look for T junction. Go to the edge of the forest and follow and look at this for a house. Hey. It is, isn't it? We've yeah. just come through there. And apart from a few stingies and nettles, I think everybody else is enjoying it. And we're still struggling with a chest cold, which is giving us some grief. But uh, we're doing it. I've only been walking for about an hour now, if not a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, it's really, really good. I'm enjoying it. Are the kids enjoying it? Tony, are you enjoying it? Yes. Yeah. You don't look it. Do you not like the stingy nettles? No? What about you? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Good. Emma? What? Emma? What's that meant to mean? You can look at the camera. Why? You're not enjoying it? I hope you are. It's actually quite a nice walk. It's not as windy as it has been. And thankfully it's not raining either. Which is very, very good. Would you, would you like it to rain? No. Don't kick the stones. This is somebody's driveway. And we need to respect that. No, you don't kick nothing. Why do we not kick anything, Toby? It's somebody else's. Disrespectful. It is disrespectful. Trying to teach the kids respect when they come out into the countryside, like closing the gates, not dropping litter, not kicking things. That's an important thing to keep the environment, you know, nice for everybody else to enjoy. But if everybody destroyed the environment, we wouldn't have the environment to come out and enjoy. So we've found the barrier we need, and we're going to be taking that path down there. What's up? Okay. Tired? Go to sleep? Sleepy bye's. No. no. Okay. You tired? No. No? No, my legs aren't hurting. Your legs aren't hurting. So yeah. do you want to stop for dinner? So we're going to go and find somewhere to stop that's a sensible place to stop so we can sit down, have a bit of a rest and have some dinner because I think it's about half past one, something like that. One of the signs that autumn is coming on its way is you start to see the berries growing and Emma found these. Oh, Emma found them. Let's say again. <laughs> oh, you found them up there? By the cottage. By the cottage. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any on the cottage. <laughs> what have you got? She beat me to it. How could she beat? I didn't see her get the camera out. She sounds like Anxious the Elephant from the Haven <laughs> Holidays. <laughs> Her Twitter account is Anxious M, by the way. And <laughs> she got the name Anxious when we were on holiday. But I wasn't born. No, you weren't born then. We, we didn't have you. But we did have. Did we have Kobe? Yeah. Yep. No, we he's, he's the tigger. You're just coming up to him. You're just coming up to two years old. No. Just gone one. Just gone one. Just gone one. Ten years ago. Uh huh. So that big chap there was one years old, just coming up, and we were on holiday at a holiday park, and that holiday park happened to have a, a character called Anxious, and uh, she had a squeaky voice. She lost her voice that holiday. Had a oh hello. <laughs> Got some nice, nice dogs. There we go. <laughs> She had this squeaky voice, totally lost her voice, 
and she sounded exactly like Anxious the Elephant from this holiday park. Ever since then the name's stuck really, hasn't it? So, that's Anxious. Well, we walked for a good 30 minutes before we finally decided that there's no way in the wire forest to really sit down and have a bite to eat. So we've become What have we become? Nomads. We're just going to sit wherever. So far the walk's doing alright. So uh, it's a fairly simple walk. It's just a shame that there's not many places to sit. And have a rest if you need it. So we're right next to what's a brook. Just over the way. Somewhere over there. And uh, we're heading off in that direction. hopefully get them to find the car so we can go home. I did hear a train. That might be the Seven Valley Railway. But uh, I'm not sure we'll see that one. So we're going to finish off our dinner. Pick all the sandwiches. And uh, some nice things. <clears throat> Just having a look at my app. And this is what we've done so far. So three miles it took us an hour and 43 minutes at 48 minutes a mile so a slow pace the main thing is we're out we're doing something and we're getting fit we've just eaten our dinner and uh, we're now pushing on down past this brook heading off towards another bridal way so we can start heading back up somewhere through the woods and back to the car we've got about two miles to go so not too far away but uh, should take us about an hour maybe two on that one so the kids are alright Emma's doing great I'm doing fantastic, loving every moment of it and uh, it's great to be back out here and doing something. Uh, I know the videos have been few and far between uh, but the weather hasn't always been the best in order to accommodate the videos but here I am here in nature with the family. So how are you two? In the frame. How are you two? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You liking the walk? Yeah. yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. You think it's an easy walk or a hard walk? Hard. Easy. Easy for you but hard for you. Alright. Well, we found the road that we needed to be on. Although we very, very nearly came onto a road that we shouldn't be. It was on the map, but it was going in the wrong direction that we needed. And my advice to anybody that decides they're going to go for a walk like this, please take a map. Know where you're going, follow the right trails, follow the map, and uh, you know you'll you'll prevent injury. You'll also prevent yourself from getting majorly lost because a wood like this is a humongous wood and it's easy to get lost in. Uh, there's a couple of times we've been tricked into thinking it's the right path, the right trail and it hasn't been but uh, we're on the right one we just climbed not a really steep hill but it was uh, it was hard enough horses get up there but it was hard enough for us so they're all there taking a rest on the forest path we're going Without a clue where we're going. So, about half a mile now to go till we get to the car. Had a bit of a hiccup with confusion of paths, but with the help of another fellow walker, 
has helped us get on the right way and gratefully for him helped him get on the way now don't know his name but if he does find this video and recognizes us big thank you to you for helping us on the right track otherwise we could have been in this forest for, for days okay maybe not days a couple of hours more but we're getting along quite nicely out of breath feeling great and nearly there so we finally finally have made it three hours and 20 minutes later of walking about six miles in total a lot longer than we expected but we did get lost a few times but we're finally back at the car oh it's been absolutely great my legs are tired i think the kids are tired you're tired I'm emma absolutely shattered. you're absolutely shattered and she's about to have some water you know it's took us a slow pace emma does have some problems with mobility with her knees and her back but my god she's trooped on today it's been a fairly simple walk pretty much similar terrain to this but it's been a long time kids have you enjoyed it yeah yes what was the best bit all of it. All right. Well, now. Now's the best bit. <laughs> right. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Um, might be seeing you in the next one. So that's it for us. That's our walk of Button Oak, the Y Forest, here in South Shropshire. And uh, we'll see you again soon. <laughs>